But Molly just got a new car, so that's exciting. Molly, Molly. I got press-ons at CVS. Where are we going? Nowhere with y'all. <laughs> To survive for months on that. I know. So I have a, I think it's a turkey and cheese sandwich. Hello and welcome to today's vlog. We're at, do we say home? I don't know if this is home. Or Are Florida's you kidding home. me? What? This is home. It is for you. Look at this. Guys, I did my nails. It looks good. I got press-ons at CVS. This one's a little thick, but that's user error. I think they look pretty good. If they you look just, like, great. I was gonna ask you to do mine. Them. Oh. Cause I, you have extra fingernails in there. I was gonna ask you to do mine, but I. what if I go on a flight and one pops off? Like I don't wanna, very, my very first time using them be flying. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I can be flying for a while. So if you're gonna do it, you might as well do it. Right, but the point is maybe I should try it on days that I'm not flying. Yeah. So I'm going in for airport standby this afternoon. Did I already tell you that? No. I have to be there by 5.55 and stay through the evening. So I'm going to be watching the Florida State game in the airport lounge unless they put me on an airplane. Isla is literally wearing a gator shirt. This Why would she do that? Can I have people over to watch the game? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Mike, you okay with that? Yeah. Can Katie have some people over to watch the game? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Yes, you may. Thanks. Mike, are you staying or are you going to go back to Florida? Well, I'm trying to decide. Okay, let's decide. I wish I could stay. So if you guys have, didn't watch yesterday, so I, Katie and what Mike if? and I came up yesterday because my work starts today and Mike came up. Katie wanted to come see her friend. <laughs> God bless you, Michael John. And Mike wanted to come up to get some work done on the house. And then um, he is talking about maybe going back down to Florida tonight or going back down tomorrow. I'm here at least until Monday or Tuesday. Katie was talking about leaving tomorrow morning and flying to her friends in Jacksonville who's gonna drive See, me to school. What? I was thinking that. Yeah, but, but what if I leave later? Today? No. Oh. Tomorrow. Yeah. And instead fly to Tallahassee so I don't have to drive back with Annie. Because the reason I have to leave so early is because Annie and her sister Grace are driving back. Oh, sorry about the sun, guys. Oh, oh, just go this way. There you go. Okay. Um, oh, I see. Well, let's so, take a look. Let's see. Let's okay. see what other things are available. Okay. okay, let's look now. Yay! Yeah. Oh wait, but first of all, have you had fun so far? Yeah. She spent the night at Molly's last night. Molly, but how's Molly doing? She's doing well. She is. Yes, yeah, she's doing. She's fantastic. She's going to the BBI. When? For Christmas. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, so you won't see her at Christmas? No, I will. But you she's will. going like the twenty sixth. Oh, okay. So between Christmas, Christmas and New Year's. Yeah. Oh, good. So you'll see her when we come back before Christmas. That'll be fun. Yeah. Excellent. What else? Is it? Does it seem like the same place, or is it different? What? What? what are you oh, maybe at? that's spring break, actually. Oh, okay. What are your thoughts on um, what it's like to be back here? It's so nice. I love driving around downtown. Is like my. Oh, did you drive thing. around down there? Yeah, me and Tucker and Lainey went to Starbucks and got some. Oh, Dad and I were gonna do that this morning. Aww. We ended up going to the Starbucks. We can still right go. Now. There's this really cute store across from the Starbucks that mm -hmm. I really want to get a jacket from. Remember, I sent you a picture last time I was here of like the jackets. Oh, really? And, I, and Tucker got one yesterday because it was like 25% off. And oh. I'm assuming they probably still have the 25% off deal. And oh. so I kind of want to go like hmm. get one of them. Maybe we could run down there. Katie also is trying to get her hair cut. But this is the thing. I, I have to be at the airport. Her hands are dead. I have to be at the airport by 5.55 and the only oh. availability is five or six. Oh. So maybe dad could drop me off at the airport and then take you to get your hair cut. How do you want to do that? Oh, no. I know. What if, do you have any other haircut people? Um, not that I know of. That could do it no. last minute. No. No. Nah. 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 So, can Molly take you over? Yeah, I'm sure she could. Did you I just, get a new car? I just don't like, I don't like paying for hair. I mean, I'll, I'll, like, I'll pay for it, but. I'll I, pay for it. I don't like doing the whole like tip thing, you know? Oh, okay. Well, I'll I'm, take I, care I don't of know it. how to do that. Okay, I'll take care of it. I, don't you have to like tip them like, a lot of money and I don't know how to do that. Okay. It, they make and it very I, easy. And I don't want to tip like accidentally less than what right. Well, to we'll do. Still do. I'll call and ask how much the haircut is and then okay. I'll tell you how much to tip. Okay. Okay. All right. I want to get like layers though. Yeah. She'll do it for you. She's and like, I job. want these pieces. My hair. I, so this is, my hair looks terrible right now because no, I didn't bring any product oh. and I totally forgot product. So it's kind of a mess. You guys, I'm sorry that you have to look at it like that. Oh gosh. Ew. Will you hold it? Cause I look terrible. No, you don't. You look fantastic. No, I, I really look bad. All right. Let me go take care of my hair and then we'll continue our conversation. Now Mike has joined us on the comfy couch. It's Mike, Katie, and Jill. Just why well, do you here. blame me? I know. This is such a comfortable such Saturday afternoon. Such great young ladies. Oh, thanks. Thank 
Thanks, Mike. Watching college football, we just watched uh, Michigan beat Ohio State. It's good light. Oh, you like that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We've been on this couch all video, I think. It's been, yeah, we've done a whole video on this couch. Well, we haven't fact. left this couch in a while. Yeah. We just added dad. Exactly. <laughs> Which Perfect. is kind of what a Saturday afternoon is all about, right? I think that's what a Sunday is all about. Like, in my apartment, we don't do anything on Sundays. Well, you shouldn't Like, we wake up and we stay in our pajamas all day. Mm-hmm. Until yeah. I either go to church or chapter. Mm-hmm. Do you go to church in the afternoon or in the morning? I go in the morning when I can, but, well, I go in the afternoon when I can, but we have chapter at 6, and uh, so when we don't have chapter at 6, I go to church at 10. When you, you mean when you do have chapter at 6, you go to church at 10? Yes. That one. Okay. Got it. All right, Mike has decided he's flying back tonight. I am. He's going to take me to the airport so I can work, and then he's going to fly back. And then Wait, Katie... You're leaving, you're leaving the car there, so I have a car. Correct. No vehicle. No vehicle. Then Katie, but Molly just got a new car, so that's exciting. Molly, Mom. Molly, Molly, congratulations, Molly. So Katie is going to, oh, you're going to get your hair cut? Did you hear back from Molly? No, I'm going to call her. You should call her because Kate wants to get a haircut. And Molly's like that friend where it's like, like I can just walk into her house. Like you shouldn't really like walk into people's houses like no. you guys say, but like they will be offended if I don't. Like if you I knock on the door, I, I give a little knock before I walk in. Like if I stood there and knocked at the door, they'd be like, why are you to come doing? get you? They'd be like. Get, let yourself in like what are you doing right you know she, well yeah so i mean you basically grew up living with her she lived with us yeah That's how it is yeah i love it mm -hmm. all right so i'm in about a half an hour i'm gonna start getting ready in the meantime i'm just gonna sit here and veg Perfect. let me know kate or maybe we'll make an appointment with kate. okay so we decided to leave the couch because molly came to pick up katie and molly's driving her new car oh my gosh i'm so excited for her Molly, look at your hot red car. Are you thrilled? I'm thrilled. Do you love it? Look how come look inside. I am. Can I sit in the back? You can sit in the back. Am I going to be the first person sitting in the back? No. Oh my gosh. I love it. I mean, the first person that you know? No. Oh. Who sat in the back already? Sat in the back. Who did? Our, our, our Petronila. Our foster kid. Oh, he already sat in the back? She. What? She. You take oh. a, uh, yeah. That was back there. I'll take her out. Michael. Nice ride. This is nice. It was in the back. It was in the... Yeah. Where are we going? Nowhere with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic, Molly. Congratulations. You like it? You love it? Oh yeah, my I gosh. It. I it feels love like it. It's brand new. Are Guess you going to drive it back to school? Guess what year it is. Did I already tell you this? Do you no. Over no. Here? no. It's a 2013. Shut the front door. It's in great, great it shape. Great. Right? Right? Wow. That's what I'm saying. Terrific. That is the awesome. The thing is this. And we just have to fix it. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. okay. Little glue? Yep. Yeah. No yep. problem. Yep. Yep. No worries. I, I know. Right. Yes. Right. Wait, hold on, watch. This is, this is the only thing I've learned so far. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. You guys can practice on the way. Very good, everybody. That's great. I got oh. the Bluetooth working and everything. Oh, okay. How's it Excellent. sound? It's pretty good. Wait, I uh -huh. just paused. And you're going, going too far, and, and you know it don't matter anyway. You can rely on the old man's money. You can rely on the old man's money. That was very funny, Mike. So appropriate. So appropriate. Congratulations, Mom. I love it. Congratulations, you guys. That's awesome. All right. Now get out. Have fun. You're going to get your hair cut? You guys both look at me and smile for a thumbnail? Molly's new car. Wait, Molly, you gotta move over this way so I can see your head. Ready? Oh, you guys are so cute. I love it. I've been on a crazy map. Thank you for taking her to get her hair cut. And I won't see, we'll see you at Christmas. Anytime. I'll see you. Okay. Are you leaving? Well, maybe. Yeah, I am. Because I'm flying. Well, I'm going to the airport today. I might fly. And if not, when I get back, she. Oh, maybe I'll see you. No, I'm taking her to the airport in the morning. If I'm not flying. Wait, Katie, maybe I will see you tomorrow. That'd be good. <laughs> All right, hey, what do you have there? All right, you guys, I'm packing up my. Food bag. They don't call it a lunchbox, they call it a food bag. So just in case I fly tonight. So I have a frozen turkey dinner. So this is turkey and sweet potato casserole, stuffing, gravy, and some pineapple pompey in there. I have the leftover green beans from Thanksgiving as well. Delish. I have two of these little things that I absolutely love. These are little bumblebee um, tuna salad snacks on the run. Easy peasy. I have my Trader Joe's dark chocolate peanut butter 
cups because when I get a sweet tooth, I'm gonna want, want some of those. I also have here some balanced breaks. I like these because they're little cheese and nuts and little cranberries. So I'll probably bring two of those because again, I don't need all of it for tonight, but they very well could send me on a flight tonight. I might not come back until Tuesday. Like I have to be packed for everything. So I'm bringing those. And then also in here, I have some little oh trail God. mix packs. I have my fork for when I get to eat. <laughs> I have some coffee. And this is my registration info. And that's it there. And then the other thing that I use, and this is a little, a little tip, a little hint, you guys, that I got from another flight attendant. My friend Carrie, as a matter of fact, I'll show you. Instead of having a like an ice pack to put in there, because like the ice packs, okay, so they stay frozen and then they get uh, like thawed or whatever. And then if you're staying in a hotel room and your refrigerator doesn't have a powerful enough freezer, you can't refreeze that ice pack for the next day. But what you can do is you can go to the hotel ice machine and put more ice in this, and this does not leak. So you just put ice in it, put it in here, it keeps everything cold. And then when I get to the hotel, I pour out the water, pour more ice in, and so it's like an ice pack that you can travel with. So it's perfect. That's great. So that's what I'm taking with Brilliant. me. Wow. Yeah. You could survive for months on that. I know, I know, I know. It's just a little one. Most people have one that's like twice the size, but I don't really need all that, all that food. Maybe when I start flying like three and four days, I will, but I don't really think so, because I want to also have the opportunity to try some food at the places that I'm going. So this is really sort of like emergency food, and food if I get in too late and the restaurant's closed, I can just heat that stuff up. That's my food pack. So I sat airport standby and I didn't know what was going to happen. I was all cozy watching the Florida State Florida game, which by the way, go Knowles. And I got a call at like maybe 8.30 telling me that I was gonna be on a flight at 10. So I took a flight to Norfolk and I'm back to Norfolk like I was um, a couple weeks ago. But this is the good news. It's like midnight right now. Oh, it's midnight and the restaurant is closed. So they gave us this little box of lunch. So this is what I get. So I have a, I think it's a turkey and cheese sandwich, sour cream and onion potato chips, chocolate chip cookie, an apple, but I'm allergic. So I'm gonna have to, I'll bring that home and give it to Mike and mayonnaise and mustard. So I'm so excited to eat cause I'm starving. Um, this I'm kind of bummed though, because if we were here like an hour earlier, this hotel is the same hotel we stayed at last time. They have the most amazing, and maybe I told this to you already, but the most amazing crab, cream of crab soup. Oh my gosh, so good, so, so good. Um, but hopefully I'll get a cup of it tomorrow. While I was on the plane is when the game ended, so I didn't know who won the game until we landed and I could look at my phone and I found out that the Knowles won, which is so great. Congratulations, Florida State. It was a squeaker though, I understand it wasn't, uh, from what I watched, it was a tough, tough fought um, win. But anyway, so here I am. So I'm in Norfolk today, tomorrow we're heading to Nashville and then I'm going to what's called Deadhead back to Baltimore, which means after, they only need me until Nashville. They don't need me to, to work the flight from Nashville to Baltimore. Um, so I just I just fly back. But of course I'll help the flight attendants if they need, I'll be in uniform so I can do that. Anyway, that's it. I feel like there was something else I wanted to tell you and I can't remember what it was. Katie got her hair cut, Ryan worked, and then Mike flew back to Maryland and Brennan went to the Florida State Games. I think you guys all know that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I remember what I wanted to tell you. I'm so excited because I started reading a new book and I haven't read a book in ages because I just don't take the time to sit down and read. But the new movie, Boys on the Boat, is coming out and I'm so excited to see that movie because it is, the book is apparently ridiculous. My parents gave each one of us the book years, years ago for Christmas and my whole family read it and I just didn't read it yet. They said how great it was. And I'm like, oh, I really want to read it. But now I have an impetus to read it because I really want to see the movie. I think it comes out on Christmas day. So I brought the book with me. So I'm going to sit here and eat my box lunch and read Boys in the Book. Let me show you the book, hold on a second. If you guys have read it, comment down below. Let me know if you have not read it. Apparently the story, it's a true story and it's fantastic. So this is the Boys in the Book. So I'm going to read it. And it's about, um, well, you can see right there nine Americans and their, I'm reading backwards because this is filming, nine Americans and their epic quest for gold at the 1936 Berlin Olympics. Very much looking forward to reading it. All right, you guys, see you tomorrow.